Hey guys, Drew's here. I am here with another video to film for you guys tonight. Tonight I am going to be filming my April TBR or To Be Read video slash new releases 2021. I know I said I probably won't, wouldn't put a April TBR video up because I put an ambitious spring reading TBR. Most of these books are on that TBR so it's kind of like a redundant of it now that I realize how many books I have on here. Um, this first half right here up till this book right here is new releases that already came out in the month of March or April. Um, it's on only April 9th so that's crazy that I have this much. And then this from this book all the way down to the bottom to here are the 10 books that I picked out of my TBR jar. That's right I picked 10 of them out and I read two of them already which is awesome. I'm currently reading one of them. Um, I don't know if I put that in the stack or not. No, I did not. It's over there. Um, I'm going to grab it real quick. Oh, so I am currently reading Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I talked about how I was feeling about this in my March wrap up. Um, by the time you guys are seeing this, I should be finished with this book because I'm like halfway through this novel right now and I'm really enjoying it. It's Project Runaway meets Mulan retelling. So I'm really loving that aspect of this book. And like I said, I'm halfway through it. So I'm hoping to finish it tonight or tomorrow. And I should be finished with this by the time you will see this April TBR. And this will be my, what is it? Third book? No, fourth book of the month, which is crazy. So yeah, this will be the first book on my TBR. Um, then after that, I want to discuss my book club that I have. I created a book club with my good friend Charlie who you guys know and love here on this channel. Um, they decided to make a book club and they kindly asked me to be a co-host and I've already talked about this book club in quite a few videos now uh, but for the month of April we are reading one of my highly anticipated reads of the whole year. I'm scared to read this because this is the final book in this whole universe and that is A Rule of Wolves by Leigh Bardugo. This is the second and final book in the King's Scar duology and also the final book in the Grisha universe. I'm scared, I'm sad, and my friend Charlie is already crying as we're speaking. <laughs> um, they FaceTime me saying I need to read this or else they're gonna yell at me and spoil it for me and I don't want that. This book is a beast though. I'm scared by its size and I just I keep avoiding it just because I don't want to be A in a reading slump again and B I just don't want to say goodbye to my favorite world that I ever was able to go in. Uh, not physically but you know what I mean by that. Um, I'm so excited to read this. I'm hoping to do a reading vlog for this so stay tuned then and see how I feel about this book. Uh, the cover is gorgeous. Like you can barely see it because it's so white on the cover. But like, I'm gonna just take this dust, jack dust jacket off. But like, look, oh my goodness. The only thing that bothers me about this book is that it's so much bigger than um, King of Scars, which is actually on my shelf right over here, I think. And it's King of Scars is 500 pages and this is like 600 but like look at those end pages so yeah that's the first book on my to be read pile and now I'm going to talk about the new releases that I have slash I want to get to in the month of April. So first up on my list I have is I already have it and that is Arusha and the City of Gold by Roshani Chakshay. This is the fourth installment in this middle grade series. I've been reading these books ever since they came out. I remember lending my copies out to my friend Emma and she read them and loved them and now me and her can both buddy read this one and hopefully I'll love this one as much as I loved it because book three is definitely my favorite thus far. Um, can't really talk much about this because this is kind of a sequel to the series and I'm just happy to have it in my hands. I love Rashani Chakshay's writing in her middle grade books and also just her YA books in general because I read The Gilded Wolves by her and I really enjoyed that. I still need to read the sequel to The Gilded Wolves so maybe by the time I finish with this one I can read The Silver Serpent I believe is what it's called. Yes, The Silver Serpent. 
Um, so hopefully I can get this read sometime soon. You guys probably can't see the books um, next to me because they're next to me. Oh well, let me move some things around then. Ooh, we're gonna be falling already. There you go. You should be able to see the books now. Yep. Um, the next book I have on my list, I don't have this one yet because it doesn't come out till April 20th. And that is Witches Deep in Gold by Sinian Smart. I couldn't butcher the first name, I'm so sorry. I have a big guess of what the April Owl Crate book is gonna be, and it's gonna be this one. It has two gangs, two rivalries, witches, enemies to lovers, I think, and female-female relationship as well. So there's definitely LGBT characters in this, and it's a YA debut fantasy novel that I've just been hearing nothing but amazing things about. So I'm super excited for that one. Um, another one that I have from the library coming to me soon is House of Hollows by Crystal Sutherland. That came out on April 6th, so this past Tuesday it came out. Another new release I'm looking forward to is Kate in Waiting by Becky Albatali, her newest novel in the Simon universe, I believe, and this comes out April 20th. Then I have The Infinity Courts by Akima Don Bowman. I probably butcher that name, I'm so sorry. Um, that book is already out, came out April 6th, and I have that on hold for me at the public library as well. Um, then we have a book that I own, and there's been a lot of controversy around it, so if you don't like what I'm gonna talk about in a few minutes, just skip forward to the next book, but that is Blessed Monster by Emily A. Duncan. Um, this author has been getting a lot of controversy happening around her right now, so that's all I'm gonna say for this one. This is the third and final book in the Something Dark and Holy trilogy. I'm anticipating this one a whole lot because I wanna see how this trilogy wraps up, and I will be buddy reading this with my friend Lori, and hopefully I'll love it as much as I love the sequel because the second one is my favorite in this trilogy. And I'm hoping to complete a lot of good series this month because as you can tell already we have a few sequels. Um, next I have is The Cost of Knowing by Brittany Morris that already came out on the 6th this month. Um, a lot of great books came out on the 6th this month. Then we have um, What's N What Not to Love by Emily Webberly and Austin Sigma Broca. I actually have an e-arc of this from Penguin Teen. Thank you so much Penguin Teen. Uh, I will be reading that. That comes out April 20th, so I should hopefully be reading that and have a review up on Instagram for you guys soon. Then we have Go the Distance by Jen. I don't know how to say her last name, but she's one of the author of the Twisted Tale series. This is the newest Twisted Tale novel that came out on the 6th as well. And then we have also already out and that came out on the 6th was Hello, Cruel Heart by Maureen Johnson, a Cruella de Vil, uh, novel. So I love her as a Disney villain. So I'm really looking forward to reading that one. And now to get into the actual books that I have. Um, the couple March new releases I have are That Way Madness Lies by uh, Deli edited by Delilah Alder. This is one of my most anticipated reads for the contemporary genre and I'm so excited. This is a collection of Shakespeare reimagining short story collections. Um, so really excited for that. Um, another March new release we have is another pretty cover and that is Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. I'm hoping to read this one in April because my friend Charlie wants to buddy read this one. So we're reading this one first. And then in June, uh, his debut novel, Cemetery Boys, is our June book of the month pick for Crew Reads Book Club. Um, so we're reading this first and then reading Cemetery Boys. So I'm really excited. This is a Peter Pan retelling. Um, I forgot to mention this book in my new releases pile, but that's okay. And that is the School for Good and Evil, book six, One True King. I finally have this. I'm so excited for this. This does not look like 600 pages to me, probably because I'm used to it being bigger, but I'm so excited. I have the finale in my hands, but I'm also scared because that last book, oof, such a cliffhanger. And like, I don't know how you guys waited a whole year, 
but this is one in the series I want to try and complete this month. Mm. I'm gonna leave it here. And then starting the 10 books that I picked out out of my TBR jar, one of the 10 books was Star Daughter by uh, Shibuya. I don't know how to say this author's last name. I know I totally butchered your first name. I'm so sorry. This beautiful cover and design is from Owl Crate as well. Um, so definitely one of the many Owl Crates that I want to read this month. This is beautiful. This is a YA standalone set in space. So not a fantasy this month, but a sci-fi. We love that. And hopefully I'll get to it soon. Um, another book that was picked out of my TBR jar. It was kind of funny. Um, one, five of these books were season or series finales. And so this is one of the five finales that I need to get to. And that is Court of Lions by Somonia Dodd. This is the second and final book in the Mirage duology. I read Mirage, Mirage last year and I really enjoyed it. I gave the first book a four stars and I'm super excited to continue on with this one. Um, another series finale that I have is Namesake by Adrian Young. This is a sequel slash finale to the Fable duology. I'm buddy reading this with my friend Lori this month, so this will definitely be off my TBR. Um, can't talk much about this because this is a sequel, so I'm going to move on. Uh, just know Fable is the first book. It's about female pirates, so if you love anything like Seafire, you would definitely love this. Another series finale that I'm hoping to complete and read this month is Queen of Volts by Amanda Foodie. I'm so excited to finally be reading this. I did start this book back in the fall and I just didn't finish it for some reason. I think I was just too nervous to complete it but now that I have this sitting on my TBR shelf for quite a while I'm like okay it's time to complete this series so hopefully this month I can do that. And then next is a YA fantasy standalone. I think it is middle grade or YA, I can't really tell. Uh, but that is uh, Maleficent, Heart, Mistress of Evil, Heart of the Moors um, by Holly Black, who's one of my favorite authors. This was picked out of my TBR jar and I kind of forgot that I had this book to be honest until I was looking for it on my shelf. So that's kind of bad to say that, but I love Holly Black. I know she will do great with this one. So. Hopefully I'll read it sometime soon. Another book that was picked out of my TBR jar is a contemporary book and that was Charming as a Verb by fin Ben Felipe. Um, he could charm anyone until now. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I know this is just like a great person of color contemporary novel. It's super short too. And like I, like I told you in the beginning, I already read like three fantasy novels and I'm reading a fourth fantasy novel right now so hopefully these contemporaries will help me split them up and not get into a reading slump so that's one of the only contemporary books on this tbr and then we have another book from my tbr jar was the queen's assassins by melissa de la cruz this one i had on my tbr for a while i got it at target in case you couldn't tell by the sticker um, this is the first book in a series, trilogy, duology, I don't know. Book two came out last month, so if I wanted to, I can binge read book one and two. Um, so I'm really curious of how I would feel about this because I love her Alex and Eliza trilogy. Really enjoyed that one, so looking forward to this. Then I have one of the final books from the TBR jar was The Crown's, wow, The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. This is like the second and final book in this duology as well. As you can tell, there's a, a lot of series finales from my TBR. Uh, so thank you TBR Jar for making me complete these. Um, this one I'm so excited to read because it's been on my TBR shelf the longest out of all of these books. Um, and I remember buying this at the bookstore with my friend Taylor. So hopefully I'll get around to reading this. Um, and then the, the three books that I added on to my TBR because I'm really excited for all of these and two of these I'm buddy reading with my friend Lori. Um, well, actually one of these I'm buddy reading with my friend Lori and that was People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This is Emily Henry's new book. She's the author of Beach Read, which if you read that and you loved it, definitely check this one out. I hear amazing things about this one. I'm so excited to have this early 
and to have it in a hardcover to match my copy of Beach Read, which I have down here on this shelf. I mean, like, look at these. These are so cute. I can't wait to read this. I should have put this in my new releases stack, but I didn't for some odd reason. But this doesn't come out till May 11th, so I'm really excited to have this in my hands and I will definitely be doing a reading vlog for you guys. And then the book I will be buddy reading with my friend Heather, that is A Sky Beyond the Storm by Sabatier. This is the fourth and final book in the Ember Quartet series. And I'm real excited to see how this series wraps up. I hear a lot of people have been crying in it. Um, so I'll try and do a reading vlog for this because I try to make one for Reap at the Gates, but uh, YouTube won't let me upload it for some reason. So we'll see what will happen with this. But hopefully there will be a reading vlog with this one soon. And again, another series finale to wrap up. So yeah, that's on my list. And then the final book that's on my list is Bone Cryer's Moon by Catherine Purdy. This is a beautiful edition from Owl Crate again. Um, the sequel of this just came out and I actually own it. I have it on my TBR shelf over that way. Um, so I'm really excited to binge read book one and to binge read book two. And hopefully complete this duology this month. I think for me... I'm just trying to focus on all these finales. So hopefully these finales will be good to me. Hopefully I won't cry in them. I have a feeling I will with most of them. Again, if you want to join us, please join us for Rule of Wolves, which is up there, but I'm not gonna take it out because I don't want that pile to fall. Um, in May, we'll be reading, if you guys want to know ahead of time, in May for Queer Reads Book Club, we'll be reading Chain of Iron. Um, the sequel to Chain of Gold. I still need to read Chain of Gold, so that can technically be on my TBR for the month of April, but I'm probably going to binge read book one and two in month of May. So in May, we'll be reading Chain of Iron, and then again in June, we'll be reading um, Cemetery Boys. So yeah, those are the next three book club picks if you guys want to join us. I'll leave a link to our Instagram page down below. Um, and Charlie's Instagram page too. Go follow them. They are amazing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of like a long video for TBR, but I just wanted to chat with you guys, see how things are going. And yeah, that will be it for me tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any new releases that you are looking forward to, please let me know down below as I'm always checking new releases out. And I will just chat with you guys down in the comments. Bye.